Number 48. What magnification will be produced by a lens of power negative 4 diopters if an object is held 25 centimeters away? All right. So first case is, right, just think about the question. What magnification? So what that means is that we got to use this formula here. we got to either use uh, image heights and object heights or image distances and object distances relative to the lens. So it's talking about an object being held 25 centimeters away. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to use this, right? So negative di over do will be equal to m, equal to the magnification. I need to know two things. Right. So they tell us the object is held 25 centimeters away. The object here, the object down here is 25 centimeters. Now you're allowed to leave this in terms of centimeters, but you got to be very careful. I'm going to convert this into meters because I know I'm given diopters up here and that's really one over meter. So um, in any case, uh, this is now our object. All right. Uh, uh, distance. So. In order for me to calculate magnification, I need the image distance. Well, they didn't give it to me. They gave me the diopter. They gave me the power. So I go over to power and I realize, well, wait a minute. Uh, power, right? That's just the inverse of the focal length. So in other words, if I know the power, I can simply solve for the focal length by just literally taking the inverse of it. So 1 divided by that negative 4 diopter, right? Negative 4, all right? And the focal length here is now going to be, let's see, 1 divided by now negative 4 and that's negative 0 0.25 okay 0 0.25 so that's great now how do we take focal length and maybe object distance and find the image distance right so that's where we need the thin lens equation so notice I kind of start with the overall equation I see what I got then I'm like, all right, well, great, uh, you know, I, I, I need image distance, so, well, I can't go anywhere there. So then I start saying, well, what other information is the problem? What else can I calculate from that? And then I kind of am able to piece it together, right? Knowing the focal length and the object distance now, I'm able to then relate those two via the thin lens equation, that 1 divided by the object distance plus 1 divided by the image distance will be equal to 1 over the focal length. So if I want to solve that for the image distance, now just subtract this term on over to the right, and then cross multiply. This goes up, this whole thing comes down, and there's your formula now, okay? Clean up the top a little bit, and it's one over that, and this is like a complex fraction, but it's really not bad at this point, right? So this is just then one divided by then one over the focal length of negative 0 0.25 meters, all right? Now notice, when they give you diopters, diopter is one over meter, so that's how I knew that this is in meters just FYI. And this is then going to be minus now 1 over DO, which was 0 0.25. Okay, so now what do we get when we calculate this now? So let's do this, right? Let's do it. So it's uh, one, divide, uh, 1 divided by negative 0.25 minus then 1 divided by 0.25. So we get about negative 8, right? And then do 1 divided by that value, and it's negative now. So negative 0. 1, 2, 5. And that's again in terms of meters. All right. So that's what? 12.5 centimeters. All right. And it's negative. So <clears throat> what magnification? Okay, great. So now what we can do is, uh, so we got that image uh, distance. So now I can finally take this image distance over here, plug it on in to my magnification formula. I already know, as we stated before, the object distance right? That was in the given in the problem. So now we just kind of plug it in and we just skip for joy. So this is a negative, negative 0 0.125, all divided by then 0 0.25. And that's then equal to now the magnification. So it's po it'll be positive overall. So negative answer divided then by 0 0.25. And we get 0 0.5. All right. So the magnification, it halves it basically. So the image is smaller than the object that is. All right by half. And uh, yeah, so guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hopefully this helps. And if it does, if you don't mind giving us a hand, like, subscribe, that would be awesome. we got a whole bunch of other subjects out there for you also. So maybe if you're taking chem or precalculus or, I don't know, statistics and all that other jazz, right, check out some more of our stuff. We really appreciate it. And we're really hoping we're helping you through your class. Take care.